these bikes are one-offs. They're called concept bikes, results of a design philosophy that says innovate or die. If you slow down, you're off the back, as they say in racing, you know, that somebody else gets a jump on you. And every year is a new year. You can't roll into another year uh, using last year's product. So everything has to be new each year. You know, uh, the customers demand it. Whilst they let their imaginations run wild, they do have some practical uses. This is one of the first concept bikes. Called the Metropolitan, it's for city use. It has a built-in stand, quick-release wheel and seat, and a retractable lock and chain to deter thieves. Specialised is a company built around the mountain bike boom. This is Synergy, written by its designer, Robert Egger. It has a one-piece aluminium carbon fibre frame. It's light, the whole bike only weighs in at 10 kilograms, and because of the matrix frame, it's very strong. Its shape allows the opportunity to try more aerodynamic and fluid designs. And fluid is the word. Much of the new designs are a response to observing the action of fish as they dart through water. Suspension on the specialised bikes is similar to an aircraft's landing gear. Air at the front and oil damped at the back. And it's not just to permit a smooth ride. The suspension helps the bike stick to the ground. And together with the disc brakes, the rider has much better control. The carbon mono frame has also been incorporated in this racing track bike called the Tandemonium. It looks fast just sitting there. Funny, they wouldn't let me ride it. Whoa! Gearing a bike to help it scale hills and dales has always been a problem. The team here is designing a system that works well in snowmobiles. It's called CVT. The conventional derailleur system has been around since the 1920s. It works by manually moving the chain from cog to cog. The CVT, or continuously variable transmission, will be more like an automatic transmission in a car, changing gears depending on your pedal speed. CVT, disc brakes and composite frames. As far as futuristic bikes go, it's all action. And that's great news for the millions of bikers who avoid the motorised world and hop astride.